What's up everyone and welcome back. And on today's figure review, we are going to continue off on part 2 of looking at the Godzilla vs. Kong Funko Pops. And here we have the jumbo size pops. And that is here from left to right we got Kong and we have Godzilla. And to also mention, we will also take a look at the City Lights jumbo-sized Kong and Godzilla after we look at these two, the standard ones, first. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and open them up right about now. Whoa. And here, now, out of the box, we got a closer look at the jumbo sized Godzilla and Kong. And I must say, they are, they are very big. Hmm. All right, everyone, you know, we got to start off with Kong and then leave the best for last. So let's go ahead, just leave them there to the side. So here we have Kong now. And as you can see, this Kong is in a very much more different body stance as you can see here he's got one foot in front of the other and then he has so to speak as we all know in the superhero world that superhero landing pose well almost like that but yep he's got one hand down to the ground, and he has the other hand into a fist, ready for a battle. And as you can see, you know, he's got it, he's got it back, and then he's got his hand touching the floor, and then like I said, as you can see, one foot is in front of the other or one foot is in the back of the other and pretty much the feel of the figures are commonly like the same touch as like as you can see like there's texture on it as this would resemble for Kong as he's a well, as a giant ape, gorilla, so to speak. And they have a lot of fur on them. And the smooth parts on their body are their, their, their feet, their hands, their chest, and the ears, and on parts of the front of their face. And as far as the coloration on Kong, he, on the fur, I'd say of a brown color. And then on the smoother parts on his body, a little bit of a shade of gray there. And then, of course, with the eyes, are they're all pitch black there. And with the mouth, he's got that very bright pink tongue and also along on the inside of his mouth and i would say not necessarily white but maybe like a yellow between like a yellow and white like when you're when the teeth start to turn yellow so a little bit of mix of that there and he also as much as he's got a little bit of like the wrinkles there 
on his face, but he also has a scar on his nose, and he has this scar on his chest, going across his chest. Now, as far as the movement on this Funko Pop, the head can just pivot side to side. As the rest of the body really has no movement as it is a pop figure. Now, let's go ahead and put Kong off to the side now. And get to Godzilla. So, with Godzilla here, as I believe I've mentioned in the previous video of the shirt in the beginning I was wearing. So, to clarify again on that with the shirt. Uh, with that one, it was the Kong with Battle Axe. And then with the Godzilla, uh, the facial expression resembled more of this Funko Pop Godzilla, whereas the standard Pops are mainly with those Godzillas, their mouths are closed, and the only ones that are open, that have an open mouth, is this Jumbo Pop and the pop key keychain Godzilla has well the jumbo and that very small keychain one are pretty much one and the same just only different in size and circling back to the shirt that yeah I think that's pretty much of that Godzilla on the shirt resembling more of this Funko Pop but anywho, as far as with mentioning of the texture, as with the Kong, so as with the Godzillas, Godzilla has more of like the bumps and those crevices in between his skin, as well, Godzilla is in the reptilian family, as he is a big giant radioactive lizard after all. And, yep, as you can see, what I'm talking about, all bumpy there. It's got very noticeable, you know, crevices in between. And, of course, with the stance of the figure, it's much different than the standard Godzilla Funko Pop and the Heat Ray Godzilla. Whereas here, this Jumbo Pop Godzilla, he looks like he's about to turn around. As with this Godzilla, we've come to know from the MonsterVerse, one of his poses is that he likes to. Well, mainly because of like calling back to where how in the beginning of where we first see the MonsterVerse uh, legendary Godzilla is when we only see the tail wrap around a building. And I feel like, you know, it's like one of those things where he's about, you know, about to turn around or about to, you know, wrap around. Either a building or trying to be on his guard, so to speak. But moving along as far as with the paint job on this Godzilla, it's still, again, pretty much as the same as the standard pops. As he's like a... He has a mix of like black in between the crevices and some on like his scales and I don't want well 
Hmm. I'd say mainly like a mix between like. For some reason, I don't know why I keep thinking like it feels like, oh, it's green, like a very faded green, but maybe like a mix between like a faded green and a gray color. And as far as with the claws on his hands and his toes, they are painted black and with the eyes are also they're also pitch black as well. Now with the mouth. He has a much more faded out pink tongue and also along on the inside of his mouth and also with that yellow white teeth. And lastly to cover, uh, unfortunately he does not have any movement in the head as he's just one, one whole piece. And going all the way around, yeah, that's just the way how his pose is. And as you can see, you know, with wrapping around, he has the big dorsal plates on his back there. So like putting them together like so. But yeah, everyone, there you have it. You have, you know, Kong on the left, Godzilla on the right. And these have been the Funko Pop jumbo sized Godzilla and Kong. And now before we conclude, everyone, let's go ahead and take a look at of their other variation of the city lights Kong and Godzilla right about now so now we have in front of us here we have what is also known as the city lights Godzilla and Kong but on the packaging as neon city Kong and Neon City Godzilla. And as you can see on the bottom right at the front of their packaging, they are indeed a Walmart exclusive at the time. And the crazy hunt for these two, where I'm sure everyone had quite the challenge of either trying to find these at their local Walmart or just being a little patient until they started popping up in the store. Or if you were one of the few lucky people to order these through the website. And hopefully were able to successfully get them delivered to you. And in my case... Looking back after, you know, it's been a year since these released, so yeah, I think like for me, what I what I did for these two and getting them pretty much was watching that website almost like a hawk and just waiting, waiting, waiting until they updated because I know on some at that point of the releases of the Godzilla vs. Kong line, whether it was the, you know, the Funko Pops or the Godzilla vs. Kong Playmates line. To where sometimes they would update, miraculously update their website. And there would be a listing from Walmart of the figures. And it's like maybe after that first hour or so, it's like. They're gone. That window of getting them is no longer there. And then later on in the day, you'll probably see it somewhere else listed. 
a little bit higher than what it should have been. But we all have our challenges and our strategies to get the figures we are looking for. So trust me, everyone, there is a way. Even if it's not Godzilla, there is a way that you can find your figures somehow. <laughs> and that, everyone, has just been something random to talk about in between. But let's go ahead and go back to these two. So yeah, again, here on the packaging, it's the Neon City Kong and the Neon City Godzilla. And they are a Walmart exclusive here. And you can see here, they're with the Kong and Godzilla. They're painted a different color, but they are the same mold of, well, the, of the previous two jumbo-sized Godzilla and Kong that we just saw. So they're the same mold. They're the same, you know, shape. And in the packaging as well. The only difference here that you're seeing right now is the paint job on these two jumbo pops here in front of us now. So with the Kong, he's painted either purple, a magenta-like color, and with Godzilla, you got a mix of like look like a maybe navy blue, a light blue colors. But at the front here of their packaging, they look very nice. And the colors are a little more brighter on the box here. But let's go ahead and now open these up. All right. So here they are, the Neon City Godzilla and Kong out of their boxes and yep as I mentioned before it's pretty much the same of what we've already seen before of the standard jumbo pops here but again Right. Well, now that I'm, th I'm thinking about it, on the back he looks visually like it's purple. And then at the front, there's like a little bit more. Well, at the front of how much you can see Kong when you're looking at him, looking at him directly in between, like in the fur, he has a mix of that pink magenta-like color. And the rest of his body, you know, being purple. And I'd say he has like maroon like eyes. And his scar on on the chest is almost I'd say a maroon color almost. And with Godzilla here, but also, sorry, before moving on. So with Kong, with the mouth, it's almost painted similarly. But with Godzilla, it's pretty much of a navy blue color there. Yeah, I'd say like navy blue as the base of the paint and then added on with a lighter blue and white in between in the crevices of the dorsal plates there
But yeah, everyone, that's pretty much what you get out of these Neon City, Godzilla, and Kong. And to conclude on this video, let's go ahead and bring everyone back and let's see what Fierce Zilla Jr. has to say about the Jumbo Pops. So, Fierce Zilla Jr., what is your final thoughts on the Jumbo, the standard Jumbo Pops, and the Jumbo Pops that are the Neon City, Godzilla, and Kong. And as you can see, they are a little bit bigger than you, as, well, they are the Jumbo Pops. And, well, with your Godzilla variation here, in a different, well, I guess pretty much of a flipped reflecting stance and facial expression being different. What would you say about these jumbo pops behind you? then I guess that's gonna be it for today's video on the jumbo Funko Pops of Godzilla and Kong and the Neon City Godzilla and Kong so everyone just keep in mind we got one more part to go through as today is part two of going over the Funko Pops as we did Pretty much the standard sized ones yesterday and today we got the jumbo pops and tomorrow you'll be seeing part three yes everyone part three of a continuation of going over funko pops but with a little bit of a surprise as to what said funko pops and yes they are indeed funko pops that we will go over but something that's a little bit, well, familiar. But of course, you'll have to find out what that is in tomorrow's video. So everyone, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, why don't you go ahead, leave a like. And if you're still a junior, if you will... Yeah, everyone, go ahead, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. And I guess we will see you in the next one.